Hello, this is Okro Belzer. Welcome to Belzer Strategic Arcana. So it's been continuing multiplayer match versus gaming with the Colonel with the Total Realism Project mod. The world comes with Strategic Command. World at War, which is uh, developed by Lothos or Dave Martinez. I'm playing the Axis. The Colonel's playing the Allies. This is episode nine. So we're going to be going into what? December 2nd, I think, 1939. We watch the hamster, hamster wheel roll. So the Germans, they are just advancing uh, uh, close to the frontier. Let's watch. Oh, something's close. Interesting. The colonel, last week we were talking, we were getting ready to do this match, and it was a couple turns in, he goes, hey, what, where's your submarines? I just say nope. <laughs> well, he's looking. Anyway, uh, so yeah, on on land, uh, I'm moving up to the frontier with the Germans up to the low low countries. I got to repair my units. Uh, some other plans. The Japanese, I do not want to get. Oh, oh, that's close. Now let's watch. There's more. He's gonna attack you. Or you just soften me up. These guys are an upgrade. I'm going to start cycling, guys. Anyway, with Japan. Um, yeah, I'll round this out a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go after Ai Chang. I don't want to in get too much attrition going here. i got to just keep an eye on the Chinese so they don't get too strong. Uh, but I've got to think of the long plan. Eventually, there's going to be sanctions against me. We don't, we don't have to worry about that for a while. It's if we uh, get involved with Indochina, <clears throat> which we will. Then the West... We'll get angry, especially the United States, right? They'll be all alarmed and stuff. She, she had been alarmed since about 1931, man. And particularly 1937 at the, Pol at the Marco Polo Bridge in Peking. Okay, let's see. Norway demands. USSR invades Finland. Okay, the Winter War starts. I'd be curious to see what he's going to do about that. I haven't got any diplo hits on Finland because i got a feeling he's going to intervene. Now that be that might be bad for Stalin for a couple of reasons. For one, his uh, mobilization is going to go down. Well, a stance with the Western Allies is going to go down. Let's go look. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. I think we'll look at some records. Uh, it's been a couple of days, Easter weekend. Yeah, we got storms. Let's go ahead. Yeah, there's something out here. Let's just get a little close so we can support each other. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go look at our Germany. Yeah, I got this early. I don't think we need to do anti sub. No. I might consider rocket weapons later, but uh, no, not now. We ain't really pulling in that much money. Okay. Let's see, December 2nd. I think next term is the 19th. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. You am going to want to upgrade pretty soon. Let's just get you. Let's move the land units first. Yeah, we're in the 
mud though. But we got paved roads, so it's not a big deal. You poor suckers, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna burn them down and some of you will have time. Yeah, I might upgrade you. I might reinforce you and then upgrade you. Yikes. No, I think Again, if we get in trouble here. That's all. Once we get into Germany, the roads are paved. Alright, this is what we're keeping as a garrison. Good. It'll work, yeah. Okay, so now I'm not going to do any research. We don't have to upgrade yet either. Let's go look at my production one more time here. Hmm. So I'm not really feeling it with artillery here. Five mobilization, no detrenchment. And I don't know if I get level one if I get to detrench or not. I should probably ask. He changed it. Huh. Uh, fighters, though. Yeah, I'm going to buy a fighter. I get it in March. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to do it again. Even though I could. Let me, let me count my motorized units. Let's see here. That's going to be fixed. Right. Three. And then what I, well, I bought one. Let me go look here again. Got these. I did not buy motorized infantry. I'm actually going to need it. I will get one of these. It's 210. Wow, it's more than a fighter. When will I get the medium bomber? May. I already got one coming. No. These are handy too, but attack values three. Let's see the motorizing. Fence values are pretty high. Well, not high. They're better than a mechanized division. No, it's about the same. I see the attack on. He's cavalry. Hmm. I ain't gonna need that for a while. I am gonna need those. I don't think right now though. I could buy another mechanized core. Oh, by all means, let's buy this. I thought I, I thought there was. I thought there was only two available. Now let's look at that. Okay, that's a punch. <clears throat> and I still got April because we can't attack till May. That's house rules. That's a hair circle. Do that. Okay. Okay. 
All right. 28. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. I don't have enough for that. And we'll do that. Keep you grounded. I can reinforce it by much because I'm going to swap this. I'm going to upgrade this core then. Uh, you know what? I think it's more expensive. I'm going to just do this. Let's just reinforce it. There. Okay. You just spent the money, man. All right. Is that it with the Germans? Fleet is fine. Keep the stores here. He's whacking me where? Yeah, way up here. I ain't going out there. Now when the combined fleet of the British and the French are together. Okay, let's go with Italy. Italy's got 145. Uh, well, let's go down to Italy while we're musing. Okay, I'm going to keep the fleet secure. Let's go ahead and fly, see if there's anything over there. Yeah, where did his fleet go? I don't know. Okay, these guys are going to stay put for now, but I'm probably going to bring that HQ down. Again, we got time. All right, come on now. Okay. Let's go look. Yeah, this is where I'm going to get him up here. And I'm almost certain I'm going to buy two garrisons. They're 50, they're 20. Uh, let's see, how much were they a piece? 50. So that'd be 100 for uh, here. Cause they're pretty tough. But yeah, I had the notion to send a HQ down here. I still could do it on a whim. We'll see. Let's look at our research. I honestly don't think that we're going to want to do it. Now we could get them. Search heavy bomber, buying a heavy bomber though. Is that a production tech? We got this going pretty good. Wow. Oh yeah. Armored warfare. I think we did that with the Japanese. Command and control be important too, because I think all my generals are crap, but let's see here. Reason I would want mechanized or uh, armored warfare is because I can get two of these, but they can only attack once, no matter. So well, it only benefit if I did get in a tanks. Oh, I don't know about that. It only benefit an armored core. I mean, a mechanized core one. I get only one anti-air, one anti-tank. But I can put anti-tank upgrades on infantry. Uh, we got to do that. That's that's what we got to do. So now now I'm down to 45 MPP. Uh, Jesus Christ, this ain't, this ain't that good, is it? Let's just go look. Yeah, I forgot about that. And this mod, that's going to be kind of key. Now, I don't know with this version, though, if I get that extra HQ and two cores. I think not, because it didn't happen last time I played Axis. Against Taxman. I was a little miffed about that, because in World of War, you do. It's a decision if they want to do it and go to war or Greece. Let's check Diplo again to make sure on Finland. Yeah. Two with the Germany, one with Japan. We'll throw another one with Italy because I want I want uh, 
Finland in the war. And if he intervenes, they're going to go pro-allied. Oh, yeah. Okay, Japan. Oh, I got some out in the Bering Sea. Yeah, yeah we're going home, boys. Let's burn some fuel, that non-existent fuel. Let's say hello. Let's be poke. Get out towards my islands, the Kirios. Yeah, you might not see that. Okay. Let's get you in here. All right, China. Let's look at research and buys we're buying now. <clears throat> so, see, I've got damage here. I really don't need that kind of business. I would like to get rid of this guy. Uh, honestly. I think we can do that. What is it? What's the name of that town? Changzi. Yeah, see, I'm getting more worn out here. That might be a problem. Oh, it will. I have to come down the road. The other thing is I like to start swapping these guys out. China. Crazy, Japan's got more armed forces than uh, Germany. Looks like they got an air unit. Wait. Yeah. Can't see shit. Must. I wonder where it's probably sleeping. Well, let's go look at our research. I wonder if I should get anti-tank weapons. The tanks might show up somewhere. I don't know how much Chinese, but I might run into a British or American future. Still debating this heavy bomber. Let's go look at our production. Yeah, I'm going to want our HQ. I'm going to want both of these. That's out in May, though. We're good. And eventually, I'm going to have to buy at least one of these a turn. Love to have that. That'll be after the war starts. That even more. Subs out May. Medium bombers May. Oh. Yeah, this is difficult. I could buy a lot of light infantry. These are good for islands, so since they don't have a hard zone of control, or do they? Oh, they do have a full zone of control. Oh, they do. Can you change that? These have a week. Oh, it's different now. This is just regular infantry division. Oh, these are cores. Oh, my. That's what I got in truck. When did this come? <laughs> we'll see how much damage I've done to myself. If I reinforce that, that's 30. I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull these guys back. I think I'll just swap here. Yeah, I'm going to go quiet in China. So, let's go back to purchases. I 
Let me get all the subs. Yeah, they're out er way early. <clears throat> I'll be able to upgrade them if I'm lucky. All right, we did it. We got 12 MVP left. That's that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead. Well, that improved a little bit, but crossing that shit, it's going to be hard. We'd have to bring something down the road here, I think. Let's do that. Okay. Good fleet. Yeah, I'm playing more more in the Pacific Beta right now. It's a lot of differences, but yeah, see, he's got a little bit of New Zealand here. But I don't know when I approach the coast, and now I play War in the Pacific mod by Elzar. Yeah, you approach some of these places, and there's going to be units popping up, defense forces for Australia, New Zealand too. However, I don't know on this mod if that happens. It does in World of War too. Anyway, it is it's all new. But we see our objectives down here. I mean, initially, I, I don't see any problem getting in a Guadalcanal. And see, this is all British territory, so we don't have to do the board decking stuff, which I never really liked with the world at war straight. The allies would go on, some people, not very many, but really cheesy play, man. Invading your own colonies and stuff. You have to war deck your own colony so you can occupy it first for the French. Or the, the Japanese just dumb. So that a ni another nice one would be would be able to take Espirito Sanu or Fiji. And these are not national morale hexes. Curious. This one is though. Well, that's American Samoa, and there's Western Samoa. I dated a girl from there named Zeke. She was Chinese, Samoan, and German. Yeah. 
gorgeous too. Her family loved me. But she had a jealous streak that was, you know, pretty tough, man, to deal with. Uh, well, I think maybe it was deserved. I wonder if we should throw in here now the supply here because we've been having problems with partisans. I think we should wear this guy down. Why not? You're a seven, six. Let's take you off, put you on. Yeah. Uh, is there any, so, that's just here in Canton. Okay. Well, we might find a use for the cures after all. No, no, no. Yeah, let's move in on them. bring something back in here. I'm not really worried about it. Let's do it. Is going to get me? Uh, yeah, it does. Well, I can bring something into the port next to me. From here. Or here. Well, I got a mine there. Oh. Yeah. Town's got dinked. Yeah, I want to hold the port if he gets in there. Gets in there. Yeah, I can even shift the air down. You know what? How far can I fly? No, I don't need to do that. No, we better stay within coverage. Well, I think that's it. So not so quiet China, but a little bit quiet China, but I'm not going to invest a lot into it. I'll get these guys. I should probably get them better supply then. I could fix that by pulling you up. Uh, take a look at Cheng Chao got. Well, I don't know if I can get away with that. I wonder if I can get away. I got spares here. I don't dare yet, but I could do you. I have to shift you. You're only a five, but you'd be a good spy dog. So I'm only going to be able to bring you to eight. I think this is a good spot for my cavalry. That's it. December 2nd, 1939. Okay. Yowza. They're not happy with us, are they? Oh, what's this? Send Von Ribbentrop to Portugal. I seem to remember this. Mein Fuhrer, even though the Portuguese government has protested invasion of Poland, Von Ribbentrop leaves the fascist government under the... I'm glad you're acknowledging he's fascist. Under the lead of Antonio Salazar, could be persuaded to sympathize with Germany. Sending Von Ribbentrop to Portugal would help strengthen our diplomatic relations, but it could lead to future trade agreements between the two countries. 15 MPP for two turns. Well, you don't know. If you select yes... Portugal moved 10 to 50 percent closer to Axis, and if Germany can maintain a positive diplomatic relationship with Portugal, Axis lean. Future trade agreements may be possible between our two nations. How much trade? How good? 
As long as Portugal is actually in the UK, will also have less armies to sway Portuguese affairs. Oh, you know, it's unfortunate that I can't check Diplo when these decision boxes up to see where Portugal is. Uh, 15, that's, I'm kind of tight on money, man. Hmm. Let's go, yes, can't hurt. Let's tell them how good, how a good idea fascism is, and we're glad you're with us. Oh, the Spanish mines. Okay, mine fewer. After the Spanish Civil War, the Spanish government owed a large debt to Germany. Despite Spain lacking many resources, many resources our governments have brought forth a proposal that could result in repayment in full. Spain does have some essential resources to supply with their wolfram mines, but further infrastructure is required. So let's propose that we help build infrastructure to make the wolfram mines more operational. My inferior, should we invest in Spain's wolfram mines? It costs 10 MPP. I think I said no before in a previous game and found out that was wrong. If you see select yes, Spain's wolfram mines will begin operational. We'll come over and resources valued at 20 MPP per turn. Will be available to export to Germany at a later date and probably until Germany falls or Spain falls. I'm going to go yes with this because I think this is a good investment for the future. So Rev Drops on have been on a. Well, our dip diplomatic service has been busy. Okay, that's good. Hey, uh, Allied Raiders disrupt Normi uh, Norway. Normandy. That was a Freudian slip. Oh, it's getting cold. Damn. Some other places look pretty nice, though. All right, so Germany's got 367. Yeah, so I, yeah, I'm down uh, 15. So 25 MPP. Uh, yeah, but it's going to pay off. At least the Spanish mines. But I'm not so sure about this, but anything to keep our trading partners happy, right? So we got 343 for, uh, for Japan. And so that's it. Interesting turn again. Uh, not a lot going on. That will change. Trust me. All right. Well, this is Ogre Bowser. Thanks for watching. Check out, uh, check out, uh, Game of the Colonel's channel, man. The link to his channel is in the description along with the house rules that we're using, which we may amend if we so choose. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. I'm gone.